Let's head over to the Beko kitchen and check out what Mark's making. Morning, Mark. How are Good you? Good morning. How are you? Good I'm to see very you back. well. Yeah, likewise. I'm very excited because about the only time anyone cooks for me anymore <laughs> is when I come on here. So I'm excited to see what you're doing today. All right, we've got a treat for you today. So really simple beef stir fry, but we've got loads of full of flavour, tasty ingredients in there. We've got some nice vegetables and these beautiful dried shiitake mushrooms here, which we're going to rehydrate in the stock, and that's going to create this beautiful uh, mushroom sauce around the noodles. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that. Sounds delicious and I'll do my best to help out with the full recipe a little later on. I can't promise exactly <laughs> how that will go. Great to be back in the Beko kitchen with you Mark. It has been a little while so I can't promise <laughs> anything today. What are we cooking? Right so we've got beef stir fried noodles. Yep. So we've got all the classic ingredients, lots of flavour in there. Miso, we've got sweet soy, we've got a ponzu as well which is like a, a soy based dressing, sort of a citrus dressing so it just lifts Ooh, the whole good. thing. If you haven't got ponzu you can just use soy sauce, that's yep. fine. But we've got a little bit of a twist on this recipe. So we're going to stir fry the beef, we're going to uh, just blanch all the vegetables, keep them nice and fresh and crunchy and green and we've got a nice broth which we're going to uh, rehydrate oh, the shiitakes in. So, so a few components all coming together and we've got these beautiful uh, buckwheat noodles as well which we've just pre-blanched for about four minutes, Fantastic. like they're really really quick. Any particular sort of beef with this? Um, you could use, uh, you, you want to sort of like um, you know, a, a good piece of beef which you can stir fry and cook really fast. So we've got sirloin today, you could okay. use rump as well, it's a bit of a cheaper option um, or you could use fillet as well which is more expensive op option but the, uh, but, the, but the rump's really good. Starting to get some smells, so what are we going to do? All right, we're going to make some more smells. Um, <laughs> beef stock, so I've just warmed that up, and then we've got these beautiful um, dried shiitake mushrooms. Where do which, you pick those up? So you can get these from Asian supermarkets, or even normal supermarkets now. You know, it's right. quite easy to get. Um, you could use porcini mushrooms if you want, but the good thing about um, using dried mushrooms, there's so much flavour. Yeah, apparently these ones came from Countdowns, just FYI, next oh. time you're in Countdown, <laughs> pick them up. <laughs> Um, yeah, so easy to get hold of, loads of flavour and that's going to give us a nice mushroom flavour through the broth. Uh, and then we're going to stir fry the uh, mushrooms a little bit later when we, when we start to stir fry the beef because they'll, you know, they'll soak up some of that liquid and they'll go nice and, um, well, not a better word, rubbery. <laughs> rubbery Tex mushrooms, I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> and it won't even be me cooking them to make them rubbery. <laughs> no, but it's good rubbery. Uh, right, so we've got the, uh, got the stock in there. I've got a little bit of ginger, so we don't need to peel this now. We just want to use this as flavour. So I'm just going to do some nice slices. And we're not going to get that sort of skin between our teeth or anything? No, 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 like no we're not going to um, We're not going to eat the ginger. Okay, we just good. want that purely as flavour. <laughs> right, we are going to uh, grate some ginger, so I have peeled that. So okay. all the peelings, you can pop in there as well. Right. Right, and then we've got this ponsu. That goes in there. And again, soy sauce if you haven't got that. Yeah, soy sauce if you haven't got that. And then you can just put a bit of lemon juice in and you'll get that sort of citrus flavour there. And we're just going to just tick that over for about 10 minutes, let those mushrooms rehydrate, get all those flavours into our broth there. Yep. Got some water on there for the vegetables, which we'll do a bit later. Right, so we've got our sirloin steak. So it's up to you now. So it's always a good idea to, you know, take it out of the fridge and then you can slice it. I just want to do some nice thin slices like that, nice and evenly. And, and that's gonna it's gonna help it cook evenly. Is there a reason for the sirloin? Uh, it's just a you know it's just a nice piece of meat. It cooks really fast, you know. And um, if you if you cook it and you don't keep cooking it, it'll be nice and tender. Yeah. Um, you know the good thing about the sirloin as well, you've got all the meat, you've got the fat cap on top. You can take that off if you don't want any of that fat. As you can see, I choose not to take <laughs> that off. I know fat is flavour. <laughs> Mike loves the uh, the flavour parts. Um, so we're just going to cut it nice and thin and yep. we're just going to leave a little bit of that fat on there. You don't need to, but you know, you can if you want. Yeah, again, fat, of, fat is flavour, we love it. Yeah, that. And, and you know, it's easy enough just to slice it off and you can take it off and then you've just got your pure meat there. Okay, so just nice and even, so it mm. cooks evenly. I've got a wok which is just over there, which yep. is just heating up. I'm going to spread that out on a plate. So good idea, take it out of the fridge, slice it because it's a little bit firmer. Yep. And it, so it's easier to slice nice and evenly and then leave it on a plate like this for about 10 minutes to come up to room temperature and then that will just cook, right. it'll cook even faster and nice even temperature. In terms of the what, what oil would we tend to use in the air? Uh, I'm just going to use some rice bran oil. Yep. Uh, so that's going to give us a high uh, heat point and then just like a neutral flavour. Yeah. And quite a hot, you go quite hot with Yeah, yeah, we want, a, we want a really hot wok. Right, just a really quick sauce just to glaze our beef. So the ginger we've peeled, grated. Um, and we've got some sweet soy, so that's that really Yum, thick, I love soy. thick soy. So that's really good. There's a little touch of brown sugar in there and some miso as well. Great. I'm going to put a nice spoon of that in there. I'm going to whisk all that up. 
and then I'm just going to chop a little bit of green chilli in there. Again, that the smell's just coming off that I'm a real smell person, and that, A, I could just drink that soy, that <laughs> thick soy, so... We're going to come back and see how that is going shortly and we'll finish up that recipe in a few steps. All right, we've got our sauce here, so I've just put the um, sliced green chilies in there. Yep. A little spice. Do you like spice? I do like spice. Uh, not so much the next day, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm okay with spice while I'm eating it. Oh, so remind great. us what we've put in here. All right, so we've got uh, sweet soy in there, we've got ginger in there, we've got the green chilli and uh, a little bit of miso as well. So really strong flavours and this is going to almost yeah. glaze the, uh, the beef. The punch. Yeah, and it is, it's going to make the beef taste so, so good. Right, really hot wok, you can see that. So you put the oil in, it's smoking straight away. How do you, is there some sort of a test as to how, how hot, you, when it's ready or you just fang it up and it goes? <laughs> Yeah, if you see the, if the, if you see the oil happening. really thin, so that you can see how thin the oil is, and all this smoke, yeah, you know it. Stupid question, you know stupid hot. answer, I no, guess. No, but, but that's what you want. And then as soon as you put your, your beef in there, you know, you can hear it as well. Oh, you know, it's sure sizzling, can. It's sizzling. Oh, so if, yeah. you, if you haven't got it really hot, it's just going to boil, you know? There's yeah. no chance of it boiling there. So keep stir frying it. I'll leave that to you. Great. So that'll only take about a minute or so. You'll get a bit of colour on there. You don't want to see any more, any yeah. red in there. And you but, have cut this really thin, so yeah. obviously it's a quick cook on it. It's one. a really quick cook. So this is the, the whole thing with like quick dishes, is get all your uh, preparation ready, and then it's just start cooking, it's fish back off. Okay. Right, here are mushrooms. Your rubbery mushrooms. The, yeah. <laughs> the rubbery mushrooms. It's the only way to describe a shiitake mushroom. <laughs> it's, a rubber. it's a technical term. Yep. Um, so they've just been rehydrated, so you can see they've, they've, they've softened up slightly. Yep. They go in there now as well. Right. And so, so th you've got to just keep this moving, obviously, yeah, I guess that's keep, why keep they the call moving. it a stir-fry. Exactly, that's what it, yeah, you <laughs> you give, some, give Mike some tips. Yeah. <laughs> right, and you can see now, you can see because the pan was so hot, we've got some nice colouring on that, that beef. beautiful, hello. And then straight in Ooh. with that soy. And a good tip as well, because it's really hot, get a couple of spoons of just water, pop that in as well. I think the ginger has just burnt my eyebrows off. <laughs> Oh, so, that's all part of the there. cooking. And, and that is it. Turn off the heat. You can tip that out now. Look at that. It's nice and glazed. It's full of flavour. I mean, you could just eat a bowl of that right now if I you wanted. I could, and I may, actually. We may not have <laughs> yeah. any left at the end. So, the beef's ready. You know, we'll just taste our, our broth. So, you can sort of taste that. You know, you've got that nice stock base. You've got the ginger coming through and, and there's that citrus as well. And so how do you know, like when you do something like this, especially if you're new to this sort of cuisine, which I kind of am, how, oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised. But how do you know? Is it just a case of I like that, I don't like that? Or is there something you're looking for in these sort of flavours? No, I think, you know, Asian cuisine is really good, you know. You've, you've got all these ingredients there like soy sauce, the sweet soy, miso. Um, and they're packed full of flavour. So it's just a case of, you know, when you're starting off, follow the recipe and then you get to taste it. And if you don't like it, you know, increase some of the ingredients, decrease some of the ingredients and just do it to your, you know, personal taste. Brilliant. That's, uh, so that's, this that's here cooking. is bok choy? Yeah, so we've got some bok choy. So just lightly salted water mm. and I'm just literally going to blanch that for a minute. Um, you could, if you wanted, take that stage out and you could just toss it through your wok and stir fry it, but then you're not going to get that bright green um, bok choy sort of colour, you know, the green colour, mm. you, you know, it's all going to sort of get mixed on with the, with the brown stuff. Um, I'm going to keep it all separate and then I'm going to build it up in the plate. So right. we've got our noodles which go in the plate, we've got the bok choy, we've also got some edamame beans. I love those. So these are great, you can get these in supermarkets, yep. uh, frozen, keep them in the freezer. You know, you can just blanch them in the shells and just a bit of soy sauce on them and just eat them from the shells, and it's what really I, good. I love now that all of these ingredients, you know, they are, once upon a time, it, they were hard to get at the supermarket and now you can pretty much just go and get them. Oh, it, it's so easy to go and get, Yeah. you know, just a, your local, yeah, your local supermarket now. And if yeah. not, you know, there's so many Asian supermarkets there as well. And, the, I, you know, I know you can get edamame frozen as well. Uh, my problem is that I fill up on those and then suddenly when it gets to the actual meal, I go, <laughs> oh, I'm a bit full now. <laughs> I've just heard in my ear, no you don't, actually that's right, I'm lying, I was just making conversation. Takes a lot to get me full. Right, we're going to find out more about this recipe before the end of the show and of course the full recipe is on our website along with the full ingredients list. Now it's over to Mark for the stir fry and even with my help Mark, did it go okay? Well it went fantastically well, look at that, just plating it up now. So we've got the noodles at the bottom, got some spring onion and a little bit of chilli to garnish those edamame beans as well go in and finish it with your ginger broth look at that it's turned out really well yum, yum. bring it over 
Any time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm really hungry. Oh, I'm just going to breakfast that. this morning. Yum. Okay. Oh, it smells really good. What's on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow I've got sweet treat, tiramisu.